Hello everyone, this is Noah. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Yus Yugoslavic M1 gas mask respirator. The M1 was a uh, government issue, a direct copy of the uh, M9, I believe, M9A1 uh, American mask, which, yeah, I mean, there, there's a bunch of them. Big news. Uh, it was issued towards civilian military. Um, it came with a a mask, a filter, a poncho, a medical kit, and uh, chemical cloths. Um, it has and instruction booklets, etc., etc. So it starts off with let's just take a look at the uh, bag because I am a complete noodle utter fan of gas mask bags. So we have very simple square, nice strong uh, strap, very very simple clips. And uh, here's the mask itself. It is a 60 millimeter cheek filter. You can see here uh, MC1 so MC1 is the more dumbed down version of the M1. Uh, it was made, this is a small, uh, this particular mask I believe was made in 1980. So this is a newer one, uh, considering the, the older ones were uh, 1960s. And then they, I mean, these are, these are probably one of the most popular masks. So, um, the reason it has a big nose is because these are actually, uh, inhale, uh, tubes that go to the eyes, the anti-fogging lenses. Um, and that's the reason it has a big nose. It's just air circulation. Uh, exhale valve, um, maybe... This can act sort of as a uh, uh, diaphragm uh, for projecting your voice far. Uh, it's got a, a, so you put it on, it has an extra strap that you put around and it makes the chin airtight. Um, here is the filter, 60 millimeter, uh, made in 1980. I believe, or it might be 1970, 80th day. I'm, I'm really new. Uh, let's see, so just a normal, no anti tamper devices, so never breathe through these. Never breathe through filters without anti tamper devices to begin with. Never breathe through expired filters, and this is definitely an expired filter. Uh, yeah, and you know, it's just uh, all around, it's an all around good mask, you know, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a very simple good mask, uh, very popular among collectors, um, multiple countries have copied this design, so it's obviously pretty popular. Now, these were known to melt, the rubber on them are known to melt, and you can kind of see a dip in my particular mask. I don't know if that's melted or if it's just warped or anything, but you know, it's got a dent and it's not supposed to have a dent in it. Uh, big old nose, you know, Squidward. Uh, triangle, very hard plastic lenses. Um, I think that should be about it. I have uh, an adapter. So it turns this into a 40 millimeter. However, my particular adapter doesn't seem to work. Like, like it just it just doesn't fit at all. Like, like you know these are supposed to be tight, but they're not. This is okay. I guess that works, but it still pops up a little bit. Um, but you know now I can. Uh, Here's one of my broken filters. Uh, 
and you can tell it's broken because it's a brand new filter made in 2017 but it if you can hear that it's a shaking noise and that's not good that means charcoal is leaking do not breathe through it because that will mess up your lungs I know from experience uh, but and then just oops Okay, hello. Okay, this is being difficult. Anyway. So yeah, that's basically just a quick video on the M1, uh, Yugoslavic M1. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed, then please like and... Uh, Comment what you, what you want to see me do next. I'm going to try to get more uh, surplus on here. Uh, more MRE reviews of that uh, sort. Um, so yeah, just uh, thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time. Uh, yeah, see ya.